you come rock pooling yourself, it's a really good idea to move rocks so you can find what creatures might be hiding underneath there. And things might be growing on the rock itself, like there's an anemone here. But it's very important when you move on to a different area to put the rock back exactly as you found it. Same goes with seaweed. You can move that to see what might be underneath. But the same with the rock, put it back as you found it before you leave. Common blennies are well adapted to rock pool life. They're covered in slime rather than scales to help them survive out of water. They can change colour to camouflage and hide from predators. They've got large pectoral fins to manoeuvre themselves around the rock pools. They've got quite a bite for eating barnacles and anything else they can find. Tom pot blennies usually live further out to sea but can sometimes be found in rock pools on a really low tide. They've got branched tentacles above their eyes which look a bit like bushy eyebrows. Sea urchins have spiky shells and move around using their tube feet. Strawberry anemones are red with small green spots which make them look like strawberries. This one is out of the water so has withdrawn its tentacles. This beadlet anemone has its tentacles extended to try and catch some food. Snake locks anemones have longer snake-like tentacles. They have special protein in their cells which makes them glow under UV light. Chitons are related to sea snails. They crawl around looking for algae to eat. This is a stack of three slipper limpets. They are non-native, having been brought to the UK with a shipment of oysters. Their shells can often be found washed up on Sussex beaches. Dog whelks come in many different colours. They eat limpets and barnacles using their drill-like tongue to drill through the animal's shells and then suck out their insides. You can see on this rock there are millions of barnacles and lots of limpets for them to eat. Don't forget to look under rocks to find all the hidden creatures like this common shore crab. Good luck and have fun!